Gene, this is Ryan Carnegie. I just wanted to wish you my most heartfelt congratulations on a most well-deserved award. Gene Science has a, a reputation around the world for the quality and the, and the precision of the, the work that he did in the U.S. I mean, he's one of, one of the two most important figures in the field of the last you know, few decades. And it's all by virtue of the, the, the high quality of, of the science he did, but also his willingness to get out and, and engage the industry and regulators and, and communicate to industry regulators, the public, just how important all of this work is for, for them. You know, this wasn't just some, some esoteric uh, research in, in basic parasitology, but this, is, this was work that, that was going to really mean something to the lives of the, the people you know, in, in these coastal communities. Hi, Jean. This is Kim. Congratulations on the Matthias Medal. You very well deserve that medal. I also want to thank you for all the years of wonderful mentorship that you provided to me, particularly what you taught me about the importance of doing meticulous, careful, rigorous science. I think you were a wonderful example of a scientist who was able to integrate scientific excellence and careful research with applications that were important to the, the people of the state of Virginia. Hi, Gene. This is Jack Travelstead at the Marine Resources Commission. Congratulations on your winning the Matthias Medal. That's certainly something that's well-deserved. I know you dedicated a large part of your career to understanding oyster diseases and involving yourself in what was often controversial management issues revolving around oysters. As you know, success with oyster management comes in very small steps, but I would say at least during my career, you were involved right along the way in every step. And the success that we're seeing here today had a lot to do with science that you developed and the input you had to the management process. As you know, we're guided today by what was Governor Kane's Blue Ribbon Oyster Panel recommendations that uh, you were heavily involved with. That document is still very much in use today and guides us uh, in every decision that we make on oysters. So again, I want to thank you for all that you've done to help us. I know everyone here at the commission is thrilled to hear that you've won this award. Congratulations and best of luck in the future. Gene, this is Leroy Cresswell, president of the National Shell Fisheries Association. And on behalf of all your colleagues and friends in NSA, we would like to offer our heartfelt congratulations as a recipient of the prestigious Matthias Award for your significant contributions to science and policy in the Chesapeake Bay. And I believe that the amazing work that you and your colleagues have accomplished was more than good science. It was a call to arms to direct those scientific achievements for the public good and restoring the health of the Chesapeake Bay. So on this memorable day, congratulations, Dr. Burson, for your achievement of the Matthias Award, and thank you for all your hard work and numerous contributions. There were times when we were working with Gene on a weekly basis. I mean, he was the go-to guy for, for oyster disease. Quite frankly, I can't recall a case where the commission did not accept his advice. He was that good at what he did. I mean, the issues were very controversial. Gene was making some pretty serious recommendations. The primary recommendation that, that Gene put forward was that we needed to stop planting or transplanting seed oysters from the James River to other areas of the state. This, this was a practice that had been ongoing for over 50 years, maybe 100 years. But, you know, Gene's research clearly showed that we were really doing nothing more than spreading disease around the bay to other oysters. As a result of Gene's recommendations being adopted, we no longer transplant those oysters to, to other areas. And I think that's, that's a huge contribution to our, the successes that we're seeing nowadays. And Gene was always great to work with in the field. He worked, he worked very, very hard, and you know, and he would do anything. I mean, you know, he he was you know the, the chancellor, you know, professor of marine science, but you know, he wasn't afraid to get dirty and do the the most you know, tedious, filthy tasks that we had to undertake in the in the field. I also did a couple of field trips with Gene to 
Australia. I went into his office just to tell him what my plans were, and, and he responded by, by asking me, okay, when are we going? And he was very clear that he was going to join me on this trip, but he was so helpful. We, we collected and processed hundreds and hundreds of oysters looking for this parasite. He would spend hours just shucking these oysters for me. Also taking adva full advantage of the opportunity to indulge his, his taste in oysters, though, at the time. And he would, he would be shucking oysters, and, and every third or fourth one, he would point out to me, I'm eating that one, or I'm eating that one. So I wouldn't disrupt the, the aesthetics of, of the oyster too much in collecting the samples that I needed. Gene's secret research love is leeches. Okay, that's a little bit strange, but that's what he loves. He loves working on the leeches. And so every so often we catch him when we're supposed to be doing the parasite project or writing a report or writing a manuscript, sneaking out around and collecting leeches instead of focusing on the oyster parasites. And you always have to chase them down and say, back to the oysters, back to Perkinses, or back to the Apple's Peridians. But he really had a lot a lot of fun with the beach work. The thing I liked most about Gene, he was very good about presenting the science. You know, he, he doesn't back down easily once he's seen the science, developed the science, and, you know, when it offers a clear direction, he's not going to back down from that. That's good. Thank <laughs> you.